I turned this Oral-B Glide of Floss package into a fuel computer for my GI Joes. I found this picture online from somebody's transformation of this Oral-B Glide Floss package. I was inspired to make my own. I want to leave the lid in place. I like the way it opens up. I also like how it can stand on the bottom. It looks cool standing up with the lid open. First I had to remove all the paint. I used a file to take the label off. You probably could use acetone if you want, but for me I didn't mind having the scratches. On the back was some embossed letters. I used my razor knife and a file to remove it. It was imprinted into the plastic so I figured I would cover it with something. There's a part on the top where I found a wood plug and a part of a popsicle stick can sit and the lids can still close. I colored them black with a sharpie. I glued them together with some super glue. This will be the handheld device that will go with the field gear. The floss pack opens up and this clear plastic part comes out. I cut out the touch screen of part of my ID badge project. I figured this would make a great screen for this project. I saved this silver foil sticker from some junk mail. I'm using it to cover the round edges on the screen. I just used clear tape to hold it on the inside of the clear plastic. I think it turned out great with the silver sides. I was planning on using Velcro to hold the handheld device in the lid of the floss pack, but the adhesive wouldn't hold and the Velcro was too thick. It looked kind of plain on the outside, so I found some of my graphics. I had to cut it apart to fit. The buttons below the screen will be used to cycle through the different options on the screen. And maybe the top red thing indicates transmission and receiving. Now for the handheld device. I used a silver sharpie to make grid pattern on the wood plug and found a CB radio graphic for the bottom part. I might try some thinner Velcro to hold the handheld device when I find some. The handheld device turned out great. On the back of the device had the lettering that I couldn't get rid of, so I used some black canvas to cover it. I will also use some black electrical tape. This black plastic canvas will be part of the shoulder strap. I didn't have any more black ribbon, so I used some embroidery floss and sewed a piece of bias tape onto it to give it some thickness. To attach the black canvas to the floss pack, I used black zip ties. I had to drill the hole to push the zip ties through. This was a bit harder than it looked. The zip ties are flat rectangles and the hole was round. I positioned the buckle part of the zip ties on the inside since it will not be seen when it's closed. The zip ties hold the plastic canvas on well. I used my razor knife to cut off the tails. and the build is done. The shoulder strap is kind of long. It sits below the waist, but I think it's a good spot. It will not get in the way of other gear. This is a perfect size for some field communication gear. I really like how it turned out. I suppose I could have made the handheld device attached to the floss pack with a cord. That would have been cool. It'd be pretty easy to paint this. You would have to scuff up the surface really well. And with the different colors of plastic, you can also make the purpose of these color-coded. Silver for communication, blue for medical, or whatever. This was a fun project. I plan to experiment more with these floss packs. It would be interesting to cut the lid off of one, or maybe make a small backpack out of it. Thanks for watching. I have more of these package repurpose videos planned. They're very fun. Let me know if there's a package repurpose you'd like to see.
For this segment, I'm starting a new thing. This is Fan's Creative Projects. Benjamin sent me this picture. He used the base camp system and the new headset to make this nice touch with the coil wire. Thank you, Benjamin. And shout outs to these guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing. Follow me on social media. Want to help support this channel? Become a Patreon member. Until next time, don't forget to collect, inspire, and create.